Hey, I'm Brian Buffington from Pioneer Risa, and I want to show you a great formative assessment tool called Plickers. And it goes like this. This is not some hieroglyphic drawing I found in a cave. This is actually a student ID, and students would hold this up. See the number 14 on this one? I don't know if you could see that. A student would hold this up in class. A teacher would scan each one of these individually from the front of the room and get instant feedback on how well the class understands a certain concept. And it's a piece of paper, which is great. So troubleshooting with pieces of paper is a lot more simple than clickers, if you've, if you've done the clicker route before, which are cool too. This is low tech, high tech. So what happens is the teacher takes their device, scans the room, scans those, and gets instant feedback. I want to show you how to set it up step by step. Is that okay? We're doing it. Let's do it. So let's go to plickers.com. We're right here, right now. And first thing you want to do is set up a class. So you go to classes. I guess you have to make an account too, that's important. So make the account, then set up classes. So if you're teaching multiple classes, set up multiple classes. Right now I have one, it's called Union Leadership. I click on that, and no problem. I can um, keep adding students if I want to, to this class. And if you can see, each student has a number beside their name, that is their ID. And that's where their card needs to be or correspond to. So this is number 14, which number 14 is Phyllis down here. So Phyllis needs to get number 14. Not a problem. And I could print out the rosters. I could change, I could change the order. And um, so you got your classes. That's cool. That's not a big deal. So once you have your classes, one of the next things you need to do is um, let's make a question. We need to make a question. So let's go to library. And this is where you type in a question. So currently you only get a couple options. It's multiple choice or true or false. So you would put your question in and then you put the correct answer, hit save. And it comes down here to these other questions. And the next important step is to schedule the, to add it to a plan, to schedule that question, add it to a plan. So for instance, right here, I could hit the calendar and it says add to plan and I would say union leadership, demo class, first period science, and it's going to add to that plan. And you'll know it's added to a plan because it has a, a circle beside the calendar. And these are color, color coded too. Uh, each class is color coded so you can easily recognize which question goes to which class. Now over here, these have already been used. These questions have been asked before to a group of people and it's in a report section so you can see the report I click on the question and then I get feedback on how that class did with that question alright so you have to create the question add it to a plan alright so that's pretty simple right nothing big now the next step is you have to actually make cards for the students so go to cards at the top and the standard size cards are right here and it's two per page and you can see it's, they're numbered, A, B, C, D, and the students will hold them up with the correct answer at top. And I suggest you laminate these if you want these to last. All right, so you'd print those out. If those aren't big enough for you, if you're in a large room, let's say you're, you're working with an auditorium, maybe at a college setting, you would want large cards. And I've done this from a pretty good distance away, and this is actually one card per page is a large, large card. And again, I suggest you laminate those to make them last. Alright, once you have those, um, we actually have to go live with this. We have to, let's make it happen. So you give the cards to the students in the class, and you need to, the next step actually, you have to have the app on a teacher device. So I've got my trusty phone, and you can use your iPad or Android, Android device. And here we go. So here's the Plickers app, it's right here, I'm going to click on it. And here's the question. What eye color for Brian? Now listen, what you're seeing here with my phone is a behind the scenes look. The teacher would not display this part, this phone here. I'm just, I want to show you what it looks like. All right, so this is the question, but the students need to see the question. So the last step for you is to go to live view. So you have your questions, you go to live view, and voila. So you're projecting this because you're probably already doing that with your with your computer. You're already projecting other things, videos that you're watching with them. So you just go to live view, they see that, the students have their cards, and now the teacher takes the camera and hits the 
camera button right here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me scoot it over just a little. This right here. And I'll hit it. And they're going to scan the room. And it's going to go clip, 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 clip. And all these numbers will start changing. It'll let you know how many students chose A, B, C, or D. And you have instant feedback, low tech, high tech. It's great. So I'm going to hit check. We're done with that. And once you have that information and they've already answered the question, you can it'll show up here. It'll show up who has answered. These, these uh, people's names will change. It'll have a check in it. And you can also show answers to the class if you wanted. And then lastly, a graph. Because you don't want to show answers while the students are doing it live because that's going to um, mess up your results as students try to replicate other people's answers. So you don't want to show answers until it's all done. And that is Plickers. I hope you enjoy that. Use it as much as possible, share it with somebody you know, and have a great day.